Yeah. In this video, we are going to understand how to make a proportional logic in a liquid level control. That is the last lesson of today. But I'll give you a brief, what is that proportional control? So this is a small demo and then further we will program it. So if you see here, we have this level right now at 2.9. Okay, and this potentiometer is my set point, which I change from here. Okay, this is the fill valve, which is 0% open, which means it's closed. Also, the discharge valve is 0% open, which means it's closed. So we have the filling from the top and discharge from the bottom. There is a level meter whose indication is here, 2.9, which means 29%. All right. Now, if I say I need more water in the tank, I will increase my set point. I make it to 6.2 and you will see the valve is 100 percent open and this is increasing. And as this is reaching to the set point, the valve is proportionally decreasing. All right. This is automatic. So the valve level, uh, the filling of this valve is getting closed now once it reached the level, so which is 6.2. Now if I say I want to decrease the level, you will see drainage valve is open proportionally and this is going to close once I reach the set point. So this is called proportional control, how you can control the actuation of your valve proportionally using a proportional logic. This is what we are going to learn today. However, the first objective of today is we have to scale the level meter ID30 in TIA in percentage. So the first task of today is, if you see here, we have this level meter, we have to scale its value. Right now, the value is from the range zero to 10. Right now it's 4.6. At maximum level, it will be 10. And minimum, it will be zero. So we have to scale this value in zero to 10 0 to 10 to 0 to 100 percent and the height which is 0 to 300 centimeter. So if you see here the height is mentioned here which is 300 and if you see the bottom it's 0. So we have to scale this value and we have to see how we can do that in TIA. Yeah sure. Uh, sir, what is ID 30? Okay yeah. ID30 is my, if you go to here, drivers. ID30 is a resistor where we have connected a level meter. So the value of level meter will come in a resistor which is inside the PLC, ID30. And the potentiometer, which we don't need right now, so I'll remove it. Then in the output, we have a fill valve and we have a drainage valve or discharge valve. And their respective resistor is QD30 and QD34. Now this I represent input, D represent double. So that's why after 30, it is 34 because it's occupying four registers, 30, 31, 32, 33. Similarly here, this double register occupy four registers, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, this resistor is of 64 bits. That's why one resistor is 16 bits. So multiple of four, it's 64. So it's occupying four registers. Okay, so the task says we have to scale the value of ID30, which means the level meter. So we'll go back to our PLC and we have to write this in SCL, okay, because we are learning how to write a code in SCL, which is a programming language in Siemens, widely used. So let's see how we can do that. So for that, the first step is if you're on the program block, you have to click and click add new block and go to functions and take an SCL language. However, you can select letter and FBD as well, but go to SCL and click OK. Once you click OK, you will find this window and this window is from this block. And we can also rename this block and name it as scaling. Because here we are going to create our own function, right? So the function says you have to scale the value to 100%. Now we know that if I write here, our ID30 is getting a value of 0 to 10. Now we need to scale it to 0 to 100 percent. Okay, so the simple logic is we need a multiplication factor of 10. Because if you multiply 10.0 with 10, it is 100. So what we can do is we have to first define some variables. All right.
So in the input, what we have, we have the value coming from sensor, all right? And that value which is coming from sensor is in real because if you see here, it says it's a real value. So you have to make the data type real. The sensor, you can write ID30, you can write sensor, you can write uh, ultrasonic or whatever input. So this is irrelevant, what name you give here. Now we need an output because after scaling you need to show the value. So here we will write scaled sensor. This is a scaled value which will be in percentage and this will also a real value. So we have defined two variables. So we have to multiply input with 10 and store in the output. So yes, he, sir. yeah. Uh, so do we have other options on data type? Yes, of course. Yeah, we have it here, all the options. We have real, word, integer, double integer, time, and uh, uh, this is hardware interfaces, character, some Boolean bytes, we have all the data types, okay? So now, simple thing is you have to write sensor and it will automatically it should automatically oh it's, it's not showing but anyways you can write this is a symbol wait let me zoom it for you this is a symbol of addressing and if you take sensor it will automatically help you to write it and then you have to add colon equivalent to a sensor value sorry this will come to the right here it will come scaled value because the output here comes on the left. Scaled value is your 10 multiple of sensor. Okay. So whatever you multiply with sensor will be in your scale sensor and you have to write semicolon. So once you write this code and when you go back to your main logic, just drag the scaling function here and you will see your own customized block and in this block you have this coding so you have created your own function which you are using in your main logic now here what was the sensor our sensor was id id 30 so just put id 30 and the output now the output you can use in a data register or i can give you one more option if you go back to your environment we can put we can display this value in a digital display here here i can rename that to level in percentage so this is level in percentage go back to drivers and we have two outputs to increase these outputs go to configuration and this is the analog outputs make three go back here we have one more and here this is the level in percentage connect this one to your extra output and this is qd38 and this is in double int so just go to your plc just write qd38 okay now let's download this logic in our plc and let's see the results. All right. So right now you can see this is some percentage of level and here level is 0, 0.0. Let's start the process. Okay, I will just force the value here because we are not having a proportional value inside. And we have to make sure this is, should be working. Yeah, QD38 is here. Oh, wait a second. I should change its data type as well. Here you have a conversion option to convert something from real to integer because our value was in real so you can write here scaled sensor 
this is a conversion option wait a second semicolon return function to value T int, okay, it was T int. Hmm, it should work. Okay, let me try one thing. Let me check how much value we're getting in PLC. However, we are getting the value in percentage here, but there's some restriction in using the real values in the display. But if you use an HMI, this is just a software. If you use an HMI and you can read here the values coming in percentage. So maybe you can ignore the software part, but we are getting the value in percentage in our PLC, which we can display in the HMI. So this is just a software bug because I cannot change this integer of software to real, which I want, but this is not an uh, option here. So I will just put that here. Okay, are you guys getting me? Okay, so the task one was to have percentage. Now the second scaling was in height, which is zero to 300. Okay, now we have to go back to our scaling logic and we have to also scale this in range of zero to 300. Now, how can you scale the value of 0 to 10 to 0 th to 300? Can you guess? Guys, are you there with me? Yeah, we're here. Hi, Kevin. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yes, actually, microphone will be over. All right. So, can you guess how can you scale the value to 0 to 300 from 0 to 10? We are getting 0 to 10 volts in the PLC and we not we need to show the range in centimeter. So you have to convert the range of 0 to 10.0 to 0 to 300. Just to multiply with 32. Yeah, we just have to multiply. So I will take one more output because right now it's scaled in centimeter that is also real and here we will put the output first scale in centimeter which is equivalent to your ID the sensor which is ID 30 multiplied by 30 that's it because of the value is 10 here, we need the value 300. So if you see the multiplication factor, 300 divided by 10 is 30, and you have 30 here. So we have scaled in centimeter. Now the good thing is if you go back to your main logic, you have to update your block. So right click and update block call, click OK. So you have scaled in centimeter. And I'm going to read this value in a data register, which could be MD30, OK? So let's see that now in centimeter. So you can see right now it's 190 centimeter. And if you see here, it would be approximately 190. Okay. So if you increase it, 
the value will be increased here you will see the value of percentage being increased here and also the centimeter okay and this is very easy just to scale the values we have to just read the sensor and see the multiplication factor and just write the code make your own function and display it here i hope this part is clear yes sir okay kevin are you there me. just yes. meet yeah yes, sir. all right so let's proceed to the next task display the scaled value on the panel however we tried but unfortunately we don't have a real format in the panel here so we cannot display it in the real values so we'll come to that part a bit later so the next is interesting question it says make an auto function using SCL code such that it fills the tank in such a way that if tank level is less than 40 percent we will read ID 30 if it is less than 40 percent we have to make the fill valve opening 100 percent now the fill valve opening is this one this is the fill valve this should be 100 percent if the level is below 40 percent now it says if the level is above 40 percent and less than 80 percent between 40 and 80 then fill valve opening should be 50 percent and if the level is more than 80 percent it means it's about to fill the fill valve should be closed or should be zero percent so these are the three conditions we have given and it says use toggle button to drain the valve at 50 percent flow rate okay now if you have any questions regarding you can ask me in between and this code we can write using if else statement and it's very easy so what I'll do is I'll just copy this condition and we will put it here so this was the scale